to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Wednesday, January 27th, the Wednesday after the third Sunday after the Epiphany. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We are called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Almighty God, by grace alone you call us and accept us in your service. Strengthen us by your Spirit and make us worthy of your call. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now we turn to the words of Holy Scripture. Today our readings begin in Psalm 46. God is our strong refuge. He is truly our helper in times of trouble. For this reason, we do not fear when the earth shakes and the mountains tumble into the depths of the sea, when its waves crash and foam and the mountains shake before the surging sea. The river's channels bring joy to the city of God, the special holy dwelling place of the Most High. God lives within it. It cannot be moved. God rescues it at the break of dawn. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms are overthrown. God gives a shout, the earth dissolves. The Lord who commands armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our protector. Come, witness the exploits of the Lord who brings devastation to the earth. He brings an end to wars throughout the earth. He shatters the bow and breaks the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, stop your striving and recognize that I am God. I will be exalted over the nations. I will be exalted over the earth. The Lord who commands armies is on our side. The God of Jacob is our protector. We continue in the book of Proverbs, the eighth chapter. Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? At the top of the elevated places along the way, at the intersection of the paths, she takes her stand. Beside the gates opening into the city, at the entrance of the doorways, she cries out. To you, O people, I call out, and my voice calls to all mankind. You who are naive, discern wisdom, and you fools, understand discernment. Listen, for I will speak excellent things, and my lips will utter what is right. For my mouth speaks truth, and my lips hate wickedness. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing in them twisted or crooked. All of them are clear to the discerning and upright to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction rather than silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and desirable things cannot be compared to her. I, wisdom, live with prudence and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil I hate arrogant pride and the evil way and perverse utterances. Counsel and sound wisdom belong to me. I possess understanding and might. Kings reign by means of me, and potentates decree righteousness. By me princes rule, as well as nobles and all righteous judges. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. Riches and honor are with me long-lasting wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than the purest gold, and what I produce is better than choice silver. I walk in the path of righteousness, in the path of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, and that I may fill their treasuries. Finally, in the Gospel of Mark, the third chapter. 
Now Jesus went up the mountain and called for those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he named apostles, so that they would be with him and he could send them to preach and to have authority to cast out demons. He appointed twelve. To Simon he gave the name Peter. To James and his brother John, the sons of Zebedee, he gave the name Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder. And Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with the video screen, I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So, in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. 
stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.